News Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Haley Hines with your midday Arklamis update. Starting with Louisiana news, as legislators prepare to deal with a budget shortfall and changing the tax system, higher education officials say they need more funds for certain financial aid programs. Capital Sh reporter Shannon Hecht brings us the details. Higher education leaders say tops the financial assistance students can get for their good grades and test scores to attend Louisiana universities is seeing a decrease in students accepting the funds. The tops report will continue to show that top students are better performing academically. Um, unfortunately, it also will show that we have a continued decline in students who are eligible for tops and students who are accepting their tops. There are a number of reasons why that is. The Louisiana Office of Student Financial Assistance says that students with the higher test scores are being pulled elsewhere with far better financial offers. If you're looking at your highest qualified students, there's your lowest acceptance rates. Those are going to be the students most likely to be recruited by other states. The amount a student can get from TOPS is set by the legislature. LASFA says that the cap hasn't been raised in years, and with the price of higher education going up, students may not be able to maintain the requirements for the funding. You have to maintain continuous full-time enrollment for TOPS. We found that many of those students were enrolling part-time. Some legislators suggested making some reforms to the program to address that. One program that is gaining in popularity is the MJ Foster program that helps people over the age of 20 get two-year degrees and certifications. But they are running out of money. The Board of Regents will ask to dip into extra funds and then ask for a major increase in the next budget. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. And in local news, local and state officials, city workers, and residents of Bastrop gathered at the local municipal center to hear Mayor Betty Alfred Olive's annual State of the City address. Olive reflected on her first term as mayor. She spoke about inheriting and overcoming challenges such as rebuilding employment from a post-pandemic state and addressing a 2018 FEMA grant with 21 funds attached. She also highlighted her office's success with upgrading all local parks as well as a million dollar improvement to a lift station that pumps 300,000 gallons of water a day. Today was, was such a special day to tell the public the challenges as well as the accomplishments that you face in city government. And there are so many things that happen behind the scene that the general public is just unaware of. Mayor Olive also honored many community members, including a Bastrop firefighter who suffered a life-threatening fall while from 25 feet while on the job. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We will gradually warm up for this afternoon. It's going to be quite nice and pleasant, and we will see temperatures mainly in the mid 70s. And there's going to be a chance a few clouds will try to sneak in. Here at the surface, the winds will stay calm out of the east, but in the upper levels, the winds do start to shift more suddenly, and we could see some moisture return in the upper levels, so some clouds will be possible. But we're still going to uh, remain mostly sunny anyway. So getting after plans will be quite nice later today and for Friday night football tonight. Then as we go overnight, we will see temperatures fall to mid 40s, so not as cool as it has been. But still cool enough, you're still going to want the jacket even if you're heading out to your Friday Night Football tonight. As temperatures will be in the 60s around 7 o'clock this evening. And then for, throughout much of tomorrow, temperatures will gradually warm up. And we'll probably watch all the overnight lows warm up with these daytime highs as we kind of keep this warming trend up over the weekend and going to next week. And still looking to remain mainly dry. Expecting a low of 46 degrees for tonight in Monroe, Wednesday calm out of the east. And for tomorrow, our temperatures will be in the upper 70s. Might quite possibly might hit right there around 80 so you'll notice as we keep warming up it's going to be a little bit above average doesn't really feel like October anymore not like how it has been the past few days even overnight lows will continue to warm up into the mid to upper 50s and honestly by next Thursday night we could just stay mainly in the lower 60s for overnight lows and staying warm and sunny th uh, through next Friday so not much of any rainfall through the long-term forecast. That's it for your midday update. Be sure to check on your family, pets, and those around you. NBC News Daily continues. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline, 812-1410.